hello guys and welcome to this new power bi tutorial in this video i'm going to create this dashboard using superstore Terracel. as you can see i'm going to create different kpis so mainly it will be sales dashboard so we have total sales total profit profit ratio average discount total orders and total quantity sold we're going to use different slicers we're going to create bar charts line chart we have tree map waterfall chart we have scatter plot and we have donut chart this is the data set that we are going to use you can find the link in the description to download it directly so as you can see we have multiple columns so we have the row id the order id we have the order date the ship date ship mode customer id we have the names we have different segments we have the country which is united states we have the city the state postal code region the product ID we have the category so mainly we have three categories we have subcategory right then we have the names for different products we have the sales in US dollars the quantity the discount and also the profit in US dollars so basically for me as usual I will just create a new page and to import data you click on connect and it will be text CSV we start by creating some measures so we have the total sales which will be total sales equals to the sum we have the name of the data set with the column sales right we have the total profit same thing we have total profit equals to the sum sample superstore profit we have the orders total orders we have distinct count same thing of the order id column we have quantity sold so it will be the sum of the quantity column we have the average discount right so basically it will be the average of the discount column and we have the profit ratio so it will be the total profit divided by the total sales right so we use divide function we need also to convert the date so basically we have the order date right which should be data type date and you can use the format that you want so basically for me I use this format day month and year right and once we have everything ready we can start creating our charts now we start by creating the KPIs right so to do that we click on cart and we add the first one which would be total sales I'm gonna format that order 10 for the values put it like 18 and the label like 8 and we decrease it like that all right now we need to copy paste this one second time Three more on the right side. Okay. So the second one it will be total profit. Then we have profit ratio. Then we have average discount. Then total orders. And the last one it will be total quantity sold all right next we have three different slicers we have region category and the date so basically we create a new one first one it will be category and it will be drop down so for the header will be 8 and the value same thing 8 now we add the border 10 rounded corners okay so we put it in here ok 
if we paste this one, the second one it would be the region. And also we have the date, so basically put it in the center like that. Change it to date, order date, and it will be between. We can even remove the title and the header, right? We can decrease values. All right, so these all of them all right now press control key select the KPIs and also the slicers format line line top and distribute horizontally okay so they can select all of them and drag them to the right a little bit so that everything will be centered so this is for the kpis and the slicers next we have dual axis chart so it will be the sales and the profit to do that to create line chart Put it in here like this. So for the x axis, we have the year. One axis it will be total sales, and the other one it will be the profit. So we have dual axis chart, right? We just need to format that top center we remove the grid lines we also need to add the title in the center and the border to be 10 grid lines also the vertical lines all right so as you can see we have an increase in sales and also an increase in the profit for 2016 and 2017. Next we have the GD map. So we can replace this one. Remove everything. Select GD map. For the category we have category. Then we have this subcategory. And then we have the total sales. All right. So we have total sales by category and subcategory. Next, we have waterfall chart. So it will be profit decomposition by category. So same thing. Copy paste this one. We can even increase a little bit. So this one, same thing, we remove everything. We select waterfall chart. For the category, we have category. And for the values, we have the profit. We need to remove the legend. So as you can see, we have the highest value comes from technology then office supplies and the last one it will be furniture you just need to same thing copy paste this one put it here so you remove everything it will be bar chart and it will be sales by category so we have total sales and we have the category Next, we have profit by subcategory. So, copy paste this one 
put it on the right side. So we have subcategory and we have the profit. All right, so here we have some of them they have positive profit and some of them they have negative profit. Like the tables, for example, we have the bookcases supplies, right? So these ones they have negative profit, so it will be a loss to the company. And we have the other ones they have positive, which means we have gain in profit. All right. Next one, it will be the donut chart. So same thing, we copy paste this one. So it will be donut chart. Total sales and we have the segment. Right. So basically, we just need to remove the title for the legend. And here we have the highest one, it would be consumer, right? So the consumer segment represents more than 50%. Then the second one, it will be corporate. And the last one, it will be home office, right? Next, we have the scatter plot. So same thing. Can we paste this one? All right, put it here. And this one will be a scatter plot. So on the x-axis, we'll have the cells. On the y-axis, we'll have the profit. So both of them don't summarize. Don't summarize. And we have the category in the legend. Okay. So basically, we can also format that for the markers. We can decrease the size. Maybe zero. Or let's say minus 20. Okay. So as you can see, we have kind of positive correlation. So we have most of them, they are in the range, let's say from zero up to, let's say 7,000 to 8,000, right? Next one, we have the column chart, right? So same thing, copy paste this one. So it will be profit ratio by ship mode, right? It will be column chart, right? So we have ship mode and we have the profit ratio, right? So basically we have the first class comes in the first position. Then we have second class, same day and standard class, right? And last one will have Column chart and also line chart in the same graph, right? So basically, we select, so we remove everything, and we select the line and clustered column chart, right? So basically, we'll have the region, we have the profit issue. And we have the sales. So for the line, it will be profit ratio, right? As you can see, we have the highest profit ratio in the west. Then we have the east, the south, and then the central, right? So now if we close everything, we have exactly the same dashboard. So for the insights of this dashboard, I will put all the details in the description, starting from the problem statement, the different charts, the insights that we can extract from each chart, and also the KPIs 
which makes it easier for you to understand better the dashboard and explain it in your projects. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial.